Hi everyone, this is Kristen, and today I am making this ice cream cone granny square. This granny square features the raised diamond pattern in the round, and some color changing techniques so the cones really pop, and then it's turned into a granny square, and a little bit of circle magic to make the ice cream cone toppers. You can get this pattern for free on my blog at kristencrochets.com. For today's tutorial, I'll be using Coron Simply Soft and Autumn Moss and White and Strawberry and my 5mm Clover Crochet Hook. Let's get started. Okay, to start out, we're going to want the cone colors and your background colors. And with your cone color, let's make a magic ring and chain one. And so for this first round, we're going to place a single crochet, a chain two, and then a single crochet and a chain two three more times. So you want a total of four single crochets and four chain two spaces. So each single crochet stitch is going to start the tip of our cone Okay, so go ahead and pull your magic ring closed and then slip stitch into the first stitch of the round Now from round two and every even numbered round until we finish the cone We're going to need to work a little bit of the cone color and then the background color in the corner spaces So you'll need to work two colors So go ahead and chain one and into that First, that same stitch, we're going to start our single crochet, so yarn over and pull up a loop. Before you finish your single crochet, switch to your background color and complete your stitch. And then into the chain two space, you want to place one single crochet, a chain two, and then one more single crochet. So all the corner spaces on the even round are going to be in your background color. And this just helps um, make the cone show up a little bit better, I think. So chain two, we're creating our first corner, and then start your single crochet, and with your last yarn over, change back to your cone color. So you want three single crochets along each side. That center one should be in your cone color. Okay. And then go ahead and switch to white, your background color. And it'll be a little bit easier when you get your rounds bigger. These first few rounds, it's like you're changing colors almost every stitch. Okay, and we're making our last corner space, and be sure to flip back over to your cone color on that last stitch. And then go ahead and slip stitch into the first stitch of the round. And that completes round two. Now round three and all odd number rounds will be done in all your cone colors. And all these odd number rounds from here on out are also going to start using the front post double crochets. And we'll do something different with our corners, and I'll show you what that looks like. So go ahead and chain one and single crochet into the same space. Then single crochet into the next stitch. And then you should be at your corner stitch. And instead of putting a single crochet and a chain two in our corner, we're going to do a front post double right around that, that first single crochet in round one. So yarn over. And then instead of working into the chain space, do your chain two, and let's make our second corner stitch. So let's do a front post double, yarn over, and find that next single crochet, and then go around the post and complete your stitch. 
now make sure you work back into those corner stitches you made those single crochet stitches in white just make sure you work into those so you should have three single crochet stitches before you reach the next corner and then so the next corner we're going to do a front post double crochet around that last stitch we put one around and that makes the V shape or the tip of your cone so chain two because this is going to be our corner and then do your front post double crochet around the next single crochet and to do that you'll just insert your hook um, from front to back and go around the stitch And now we're back to our first stitch of the round so go ahead and place a slip stitch here so now we're going to work on round four and round four is going to be all single crochet the only difference in round four is that we now want to use our background color for those corner spaces so make a chain one and you'll single crochet go ahead and pick up your background color if you dropped it on the last round and you want to carry that along with you so you should have three single crochets before you reach the next corner space so on that third one go ahead and change your color and then in the chain two space place your one single crochet chain two one single crochet in your background color and be sure to change back to your cone color Okay, so we're just coming around completing this round. This is round four. And you'll place the slip stitch to join the round. And now we're going to go for round five. Round five will be done in your cone color only. So if you want to drop your background color, you can go ahead and do that here. And we're going to do some front post double crochets to two stitches together. So in that first stitch, yarn over and go, you're going to work back and find that first front post and then start out your stitch. So start out your double crochet and when you have two stitches left, yarn over and then find your other front post double crochet. That, that's your corner stitch and then go ahead and complete your double crochet. When you make that center one, you want to make sure you don't work back into the stitch that replaces the stitch. It's kind of hard to see when you begin this round, but we'll be able to tell on the next side. So then you should have three single crochet stitches before you reach the corner. And then you'll want to do a front post double crochet around the front post, the last front post double crochet that made the corner the last time. And then chain two so that you're making your corner space and then go ahead and do your front post double crochet around the next post and so now you have your corner for your next side now be sure to work in your corner spaces and go three single crochet stitches 
And now we're going to do a front post double crochet two stitches together. So you'll yarn over and you're going to find the first front post from the previous round. And you'll so yarn over, insert your hook under the post, do yarn over until you have two loops and then go into the next front post. When you have three loops left on your hook, yarn over and go through all of them. So and just be sure you do not work into the stitch that you just completed because then that would be adding a stitch. So that just replaces that front post double crochet replaces that stitch. Then you should have three single crochets and then you should be at your corner space. So just do your front post double crochet around the last cone, chain two, and then do the front post double crochet around the next cone. And then you'll go three stitches and you'll do your front post double crochet two together around the last two front posts from the previous round. So start then before you complete it, go into the next post. Skip that stitch and then you want to work three stitches. You should be back in your corner space. And you're just going to continue to go around like this until you reach your first stitch. So each side is now going to have three front the post double crochets they'll have the two corner ones and then in the middle of each side you'll be doing a front post double crochet two together so once you complete this round I will meet you back up at the end Okay, so we've just made our last front post and I have three single crochet stitches to work. And then I should be at that first front post double crochet. Go ahead and slip stitch into there. Okay, so now we are ready to go to round six. Okay, and so for this round, you just single crochet into each stitch and just be sure you switch to your background color when you're working those corner spaces. You should be familiar enough with that. Okay, now we're getting there. <laughs> okay, so we make our corner spaces in the background color and then make sure you switch back. And then just go ahead and complete this around and I'll meet you back up at the end. Okay, so we've just completed, I believe, our sixth round. So we're going to go for our next round. So, seventh round. And this will be our last round with the cone color. So go ahead and uh, chain one. And then you'll want to single crochet in the next two spaces. Okay, now we're going to do a front post, double crochet two together. So grab the post around the one directly below you. Before you complete the stitch, go ahead and go into the next front post. Skip over the stitch and then make sure you work three single crochets. And then you'll want to do your front post double crochet for your corner space. Chain two. And then you can start off your next cone by doing your front post double crochet. Be sure you're working in those corner spaces you made the last round and you'll want to go three single crochet. 
So between each front post stitch you'll have three single crochets. So you'll want to grab, and these are going to be front posts two together. So grab the one directly below and then grab that next one. Go three single crochets. And then you'll do it again. So front post double crochet around that post. Before you complete it, insert into the next post and then complete your double crochet stitch. And you should have three more and you'll be in your corner space. Three more single crochets. Okay, so I'm going to leave you here and I'll meet you back up at the end of this round and we will turn this into a granny square. So you just repeat that all the way around. Okay, so we've got our cone complete. Um, this is as big as I'm going to make my cones. Of course, you could always grow this bigger if you like, but I am going for a specific size. So I'm going to stop here. And when you slip stitch into this round, you want to use your background color. So go ahead and slip stitch to join the round. From here, I go ahead and fasten off my cone color so I don't have to carry it along with me. And for this round, we're going to work in the back loop only. So make your chain one and place one double crochet stitch into the back loop only of that same stitch. And this is going to be your last corner, but we're not going to finish it up till the end. So we'll just put one double crochet here and do a chain one. And we're just going to start making this granny so everything will be three clusters. So skip three stitches and place three single crochets into the next stitch. Okay, now chain one, skip the next two stitches and the chain two space, and then skip the front post and the stitch after that. So into that next stitch, I guess it'd be the third stitch from the chain space, put three single crochets, chain one, skip three stitches, and you should be in the center of your cone, or of a cone. So here we're going to place a corner space. So we'll use three double crochets, a chain two, and three double crochets. And that creates your first corner. So all of your corners should be positioned in the center of your cones. And then you'll be using those single crochets along the, t the edges of your cones. And this is just to square things out. Okay, so we have our first corner made. So now we skip three stitches and do our three single crochets into that next stitch. Chain one, skip the next two and the chain two space and then skip the next two right after that and place three single crochets. And then after that, you should be at the center of your cone, so you want to make another corner space. So I'm just going to have you repeat that all the way around. You want two clusters of the single crochets in between each corner space, and all your corner spaces are in the center of your cone. So once we finish up that round, I will show you what to do next.
And now we're going to do our final round, and it's just one more granny round. You should be pretty familiar with this, but I'll get you started. So slip stitch into the next chain space. Make your chain one, and I always like to start things out with just one double crochet, and then I'll finish that up later. Chain one, skip your clusters, and then place three double crochet, chain one, in each chain one space. And when you reach the chain two or your corner space, just be sure to put two clusters in there. So that would be three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet in each of your four corners. So let's just do one corner together and then I will let you go and meet you up at the end of this round and we will put our ice cream on top of our cones. So I'm reaching my first corner. Okay, so you want basically five clusters along each side. If you want to just continue working around, I'll meet you back up at the end. Okay, so we have our granny square complete. Uh, the only thing we need to do is add our ice cream. So you want to find a corner space and remember how we just worked in the back loop only. So I want you to insert your hook in the front loop and then take it all the way to the back side. So you're kind of working over things. Join your ice cream colored yarn. Okay. And working on the right side, so you've inserted your hook, we're going to put four half double crochets. So insert your hook so that it's kind of going off to the right of that cluster. And let's make four half double crochets. And I used half double instead of double crochets because the double crochets just made the cone way too big. So if you made your cone bigger, you could probably use double crochets. Okay, so I have my four and we're gonna work back into the space only now I'm gonna kind of work on the other side of that other cluster just to make things look even. And we want to do four double crochets here, but on the fourth crochet, we're on the fourth half double crochet, we're going to join it back to the square. So make three half doubles. Now let's start our fourth. So yarn over, insert hook, pull up a loop. Before you complete it, go find that next cluster and it'll have a you know, that front loop showing and you'll just stick it in just like you've been doing around the the first part of this and pull your yarn through and go ahead and finish your step and that stitch and that just kind of secures it to the granny square so it doesn't flop around. Now we're going to go back in that hole but we're going to work down below so you're just going to wrap your hook kind of around the remaining part of that stitch and I brought through my yarn color here so I'm going to start that over so find the center of that hole and then um, bring your hook back up around it and we're going to make five half double crochets in here but on the fifth one we will secure it so go ahead and make four half double crochets and it does feel a little tight. And then on your fifth one, go ahead and start it out. And before you complete it, go find that next cluster and work into that stitch. You want to go into the front loop and work around the back loop. Yarn over and then complete your stitch and pull the whole thing through. Sorry, I got out of camera on you. Now you'll slip stitch into the first stitch of the round and it can be a little tricky to see because we've squeezed things in there so I like to count them off just so I don't get lost. So make your slip stitch. Okay and from here we're going to place three half double crochets. So let's start out by making two half double crochets into that same stitch. Okay, now we're going to start out our third one in that same stitch. Before 
you complete it, go find the last front post double crochet on that cone that you're working on and insert your hook from front to back into that stitch if you can find it and yarn over and complete your stitch. Okay. Now we're going to place two half double crochets into each stitch for the next six stitches. But on that last, on the 12th stitch, we'll be joining again. So let's do two half doubles in the next five. Okay, and then on the sixth one, go ahead and make your first stitch in there, like normal. And then before you complete it, go find that front post double crochet, yarn over, and complete your stitch, and that secures it to your cone. Now, in that next stitch, and it kind of squeezes under there, but you'll just have to go find it. You want to put three half double crochets in that next stitch. Two and three. Okay, and then you just slip stitch into the next stitch. And from here, um, go ahead and fasten off. So you'll want to do this around each cone part, so for a total of four times. Um, you could add a cherry on top when you're done, or whatever you prefer. But that's all there is to it, to the ice cream cone square. You can get this free pattern on my blog at kristencrochets.com. Thanks for stopping by. See you next time. Bye.